Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about admin panel CRUD. So before getting started, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will be getting notification. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started with the coding part. This was the dashboard that we have integrated. Let us go tell local localhost slash neha coach slash admin dashboard slash admin so this was the dashboard which we integrated yesterday what we'll do here is we'll just change this as home page pages will link and here we'll create a card and just do the insertion coding for that what we have to do is open your sidebar so here you have which is as first page this is the first page we have the dashboard let us change this to home page and the link the a tag link you can see it is directing to pages downloads we don't have this okay so what we'll do is we'll cut this for now we'll leave it with the hand now what we should do is let us go to index.php here we have this row let us close this row and here inside this column let's tell card card body card header h4 tag insert data into insert data into database using php reload this and check whether this is coming as what we want we are getting this let us make this card a little bit down for that just go tell margin top 5 and we will give this in smaller case so i will just do that after card header we will have card body so card body here we will give one button let's tell this as a tag and i'm gonna tell this tag as insert data here i'll add a class btn btn primary i'm giving the page insert.php so this will get directed let us go reload this and check so we have got the button but we need the button at the end so what we will do here is just tell inside class float to the end ok float right will not work with this so float end so here this is the thing that we are going to do when i click on this insert button it is going to insert.php let us copy this insert.php and go to your admin inside admin create a file and tell this as insert.php here what we are going to do is we are going to create form so we need this sidebar navbar and all so what we are going to do is what is there in index we are just going to copy Control a Control c and go paste it in insert so inside insert i don't require this row so i'll just take it off okay and here i will have the same thing here when i am fetching i'll just change this for a sample i've given this just let's go reload now we'll get all the sidebar and all because we have included header and footer let's go reload and click on insert data welcome you have and you have a card here so for this card no need to give margin top let's remove that ok we have got perfectly we are going to perform insert operation so here what we need is inside card body we need form right so let's go to get bootstrap and get the form design get bootstrap.com we are using 5 so latest is 5.3 click on doc and search for form so we have here this is the sample thing we will just copy this and design accordingly I am gonna just paste it inside card body paste give control a and format document so this got aligned properly now so this is our form let us go reload you can see we have got form here but then here we don't require this zip tag let's remove that let us remove this checkbox also and this button 
let it be there so here we have email and password let us have name phone as well so copy paste I have pasted twice so here I am going to tell name okay and here I am going to tell phone number change this to text this also change to text or number we will keep here we have email and the password everything is correct let's add a name attribute so name give as name for this name is equal to phone and for this name is equal to email and password is not required now let us remove that and for this button let's copy paste this and control x control x control x paste this here okay so now let us go reload this and check reload so we have got name phone email and we have one submit button here so on click of the submit button this has to perform some action so form give action code.php so we will be creating code.php and method is going to be post give a name attribute for this button as save button so when I save let's change this to save data so when I click on this save data with the help of this name attribute it will go to code.php with the post method and perform the action reload this page and let's check what is happening let us go create one file which is code.php and perform this action so inside admin right click create a file which is code.php if is set of dollar post of copy so if that button is clicked what has to happen so i will just echo here echo hello admin so i'm just echoing it for now let's see if we are getting this and click on save data i'm getting hello admin so one thing which i wanted to tell in previous video and i didn't tell and which i wanted to tell in this video also most of the time what will happen is when you don't enter any data when you click on submit it gets submitted right and inside your database you can see blank submission and id will be added so to avoid that what you can do is inside input tag you can just give this required attribute so let's remove this this is not required required so what this required will do is it will just like a validation it will tell without entering you can't submit now if i click it is telling please fill out the data this was not happening in previous case so i'll make a separate video on this but then i wanted to tell this because while doing projects no one will remember all this this is an html thing but if you want to give a proper validation we can do that also in upcoming videos we'll be talking more about that and more about projects and all those things so this was the one thing which i wanted to tell from a long time make sure you give that so that you can't submit any null data so now it was giving me hello so here this is working so i'll comment to this we have to take the name phone email right so here let's create a variable name is equal to dollar post of name and this dollar post of name is coming from your insert form input field so we are taking this only here that name give a semicolon and copy paste this two more times and rename this to phone this to email so now we have to write the insert query so let us tell insert query is equal to insert into not it created a table right so let us go do that first insert into admin panel so i'm just giving this table name as admin panel because i'll be creating admin panel table i'll show you that separately once after writing this query 
values inside this admin panel we'll have all the column names so here value will be passing this variable so let us go create that admin panel table now so inside php tutorials i'll click on new and tell this as admin panel and here i am going to tell id integer length i'll give 181 or 191 and here id make sure you give primary id should be unique go and click on this auto increment checkbox next we have name let us tell var care 191 then we have email var care 191 then we have phone var care 191 all this you have to type just that i have typed for every video so that this is coming let us add another column and tell this as created at so this year we'll add the timestamp timestamp let's scroll here you have so what this will do is it will give the current date and time when that particular user is entering some detail click on the save button and here you can see your table admin panel got ready so this is your table let us browse so we have name email phone and created ad now let us go here and tell name email phone okay and inside values within single quotes pass this variable name give a comma again within single quotes copy paste this phone give a comma and paste this email so after email make sure you don't give any comma or semicolon or a full stop this will result in an error so make sure you don't give anything after this email and after this we will tell insert query run is equal to using mysqli query function we will connect the database tell this is connection and pass this variable the database is not yet connected we have just given this variable so let's copy this variable and go here let us tell connection i can do it here itself inside this if so when i do it inside that if that line of code for every if condition will be repeated so when i create outside we can use that variable anywhere we want so i am doing that so connection is equal to using my sqli connect function connect function give your host name which is local host and username is root password is null and table name sorry not table name the database name which is php tutorials so copy this php tutorial and paste it here give a semicolon so now the connection is set and we have used that connection variable here so after insertion we wanted to know if that data is inserted or not so we'll write a if condition if this query is working fine then let's use a session and tell session of status is equal to data inserted successfully and redirect this back to header location which is index.php so once data is added we are redirecting back to index page in else part let's copy paste that session copy paste it here and this is going to be inside insert data itself if the data is not inserted so here one thing we have to notice we have to start the session so give session start at the top now this message we should display in index.php let's go to index.php where will we show this message so let us go to this material dashboard let us have a back button so here let's copy paste this and tell this as change back so here i've added one button it has to redirect to index.php let's go reload this is insert this insert button is added inside index page let's cut that and paste this inside now let us reload 
so we got that back button here so when i click on back this is going to insert when i click on insert okay so this is working fine now now what we have to do is inside index to show that session message we have to write so above this card so above this card means so here let's show the message session message to show on top of this card so here open close php and tell if is set of dollar session of status and we have another condition and dollar session of status not equal to null so if this is true then just tell echo dollar session of status okay once this is set we have to unset so let's write that unset unset same dollar session of status copy paste it here add a semicolon so now to give some design let's go to get bootstrap search for alerts let's scroll down we'll copy this and inside alerts you have this so here we have a closing tab so we are going to copy this and we have to divide the php so close the php here and open the php once again inside this paste your alert and format document now instead of this give hey and here we should echo that data so copy paste open close php i'm just copy pasting it and cut this paste it here so done so here also we have started the session so make sure we use the session so let us cut this and start here session start semicolon so now let us go insert and check reload this is a database so now we are going to insert data so let me click on this insert data when i directly tell save data it is asking me to fill the data because that becomes mandatory so i'm going to tell sneha and add phone number add email sneha at gmail dot com and now i'm going to click on save data you can see Hey, data inserted successfully. I have got this message, and it is redirected back to the index page. Let us go reload our database and check. We have got one data inserted here. Let's give this as primary reload. Let us add another data and tell this as Anu. Anu at gmail dot com. Save data. I have just changed the color. Nothing else. So what we can do here is. instead of using session to display we can use sweet alert i'll just show you what is sweet alert sweet alert so this is the official website of sweet alert so we can use this actually so instead of using this session message we can use that reload let me insert one more data and so that when we are fetching that will be useful let's say this as sri A phone number three at gmail dot com. Click on save data. Oh, the data inserted successfully. So I hope this video was helpful. In next video, we'll see how to show the message success message in Sweet Alert. If you have any doubt or suggestion, let me know in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.